It'll be very exciting. Let's see what's in the bin here. The mail bag. Walter is the greatest, this person says. After watching his matches with Dragunov, Tyler Bate, and now A-Kid, I am convinced that Walter is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. An international treasure. And every one of his wrestling matches should be in a museum of pain. Wow. He literally chopped that little pipsqueak A-Kid right out of the air. So hard I was sure his heart had stopped. Well, I can tell you, everybody, due to overwhelming requests... And being a man of the people myself, myself and filthy Tom Lawler will, in fact, be reviewing Volter versus a kid on Tuesday's edition or Monday's edition of Filthy Four Daily. Does that get him out of watching SmackDown? Nope. It's to watch uh, SmackDown and New Japan Strong. And Volter versus a kid. I don't know how. I don't know how much you're going to want to talk to him about New Japan Strong here. With his, did you see the edition? To the Team Filthy there? Yeah, I watch the show every week. So Chris Dickinson. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I, I will say this, much better partner than you were. No, he wasn't. Oh, yeah? He may have been more successful, but he was not better. Walter versus A-Kid was an awesome match, this person said. Definitely the best televised match this week alongside Darby and Brian Cage. And very similar because of it being David versus Goliath. A kid in the match raised a very intelligent combat, damaging Walter's leg and then his arms, but each Walter chop looked like a weapon of mass destruction. He is the greatest. A lot of these here about a Walter. Walter Man. delivered yet another classic on NXT UK, this time against A kid. I was totally fascinated by the story told by these two. A kid had to mentally destabilize Walter. Good luck with that. <laughs> If he wanted to have any chance of winning, although he did not succeed, his tactics allowed him not to lose face to the fight until the very end. I know people are going to be mad that we spoiled Valter versus A-Kid. Oh, come on. But which of you bros thought that A-Kid was going to beat Valter? He would have needed a weapon of mass destruction, which he did not have. Valter and A-Kid had a great match on NXT UK this week. While it wasn't on the level of Valter's classic against Tyler Bate and Ilya Dragunov, it is a mini version of those matches and still very much worth checking out. Did you watch the A-Kid versus Valter match on NXT UK from last night? It was fantastic, just a couple of notches below the Dragunov match. Valter is unmercifully amazing, as usual, and A-Kid is a future superstar. Here is one thing that is 100% for sure. Walter drives NXT UK viewership, or at least discourse, that is for sure, because haven't heard this much talk about NXT UK, which is a good show, but unfortunately gets lost in the shuffle since the last time Walter wrestled. So I You know mean, where it doesn't get lost in the shuffle, Mike? Obviously to these folks. On the Brian and Vinny show, where Walter and Ilya Dragunov, I believe was the first match ever inducted into the Brian and Vinny. Hall of Awesome. So there you go. Still not as good as my Hall of Fame. It's better. I don't know about that. Well, one of us sends out plaques, and the other just runs his mouth. So yeah, where is your yeah, plaque? I do. I do. Smack you with this plaque next time I see you. Well, where, where is it? Why don't you show everybody? It's right. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 right here. And, and when I see you, if I can reach down that. Why low, is that not I'm, on I'm the wall? By the way. It. Why? Why? Would, well, I got to change things around here if I wanted it up on the wall. But why would I want a Sully? What would I take down to Sully? put this plaque up? Bro, it's a plaque that talks about how you're a winner. Why would this be sullying to Dude. put on your wall? No, see, I don't need... I didn't send you a plaque saying I was a winner. I don't need you to tell me that I'm a winner, Brian Alvarez, especially with all of the nasty things that you've said over all of these years, okay? I know my worth. The Twitch homies know my worth. I don't need you to tell Some me of that. Them. I knew I was a prognosticator and not a fool. Excuse me, a prognosticator? That's, I speak the words good, you know what I'm saying? Clearly that's not a spelling bee plaque. I can spell, I just can't speak it. So bro, if you can't radio. if you can't say prognosticator, you can't spell it, bro. I said prognosticator, and you should be you should talk. You should talk. Person says after watching the Valter match last night, I have a question. Who the heck will ever beat this guy? Well, I think it's going to be very similar to the Karate Man versus Ethan Page. I think Valter is <laughs> going to have to beat Valter. And you, well, hey, 
You know, it, technically, it probably will be Walter beating Walter, whether it's another person or not. Somebody is going to have to get the best of this man in a way where he forces, they force a mistake upon him. When you have a, a machine that's rolling like that, somebody's going to have to cause this man to trip up. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes, over 300 at current count, full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Landstorm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.